Hello, this is Mary Lynn Van Sweeten with Partners in Technology in Wheaton, Illinois. Today I'm going to show you a nice easy technique to write off a customer invoice balance in Sage 100. What we're looking at on screen is version 2018. I get a surprising number of support calls about this very thing, so I thought I'd make a nice easy uh, video. Let's go into cash receipts. I know, we didn't get any money, but this is a very nice place to be able to write off a balance of a customer invoice. I'm going to create a deposit. It doesn't matter what the bank code is. It does matter what the deposit date is because that will be my transaction date. I'm going to have zero for my cash deposit and, of course, my credit card deposit because I didn't receive any money. Let's click Accept, and let's go find our customer that we're going to write an, uh, an invoice off. I'm going to choose the first customer here, and I'm going to choose a check number called Bad Debt because that's what describes my transaction. Sometimes I'll put Write Off, or maybe if I have an invoice on another account and I have the cash, uh, the prepayment on this account, I might refer to the other customer in my check number. It's free form. You could do whatever you'd like. My amount received is also going to be zero because, again, I didn't actually receive any money. So let's come to lines. I'm going to select my invoice number, and let's select invoice number uh, 0100041. When I double click on this, what you'll notice that here's my balance, but it didn't put anything in amount posted. I'm going to have to type that. Normally when you're doing a cash receipt, there's a check and it's trying to apply off the, the check so it will auto post the amount here. In this case, it won't, so I'm going to have to type that in. You can see when I accept it, the invoice balance is now zero. Let's come to line two. Here we see I have a line type of invoice. I'm going to change this to a GL account. And I could select a general ledger account to write this off because it's not going to cash as I didn't receive any money. In my case, I want to put this to my reserve for doubtful accounts. And when I select it, it's automatically going to put in the minus um, in the amount posted. You can see now that my posting balance is zero, my total posted is zero, I click accept, and now I'm ready to update my badge normally, just like I would if I had received, actually received cash. One little caution. This is a great, simple, easy technique to get rid of an invoice balance. You might not want to do it this way if you are calculating salesperson's commission. This is not going to impact the salesperson's commission. This is going to show the invoices being paid. With commissions involved, then you really do need to do um, a credit memo against the invoice. That way, the salesperson's commission reports will be impacted. Hope this has helped you get more out of Sage 100. Thanks for watching.